This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Get comfy, we're still talking new fall TV. From the pop culture bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. So we started our review of this year's new fall TV shows in our last episode. So let's continue on. Tuesday night, new network shows, Marvel's Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm really looking forward to this. You know, we don't read Marvel comics on our on our audio podcast. Right. You'll never hear us talk yeah, about Yeah, hardly Marvel ever comic. we talk about Marvel. And yet... We love the movies. Yes. And we're so excited about this TV show. Right. It's set in the Avengers universe... Joss Whedon is the exec producer. Mm -hmm. Agent Coulson returns from the dead, and we'll find out how he returned from the dead. And that actor who plays Agent Coulson. Clark Gregg. Clark Gregg. He was on um, the New Adventures of Old Christine. Christine. Yeah, he was the ex That's the first time I ever saw him in anything. Right. And yet he seems to be this great actor. You Mm -hmm. would never have guessed it from that that show. Sure. It's all about non-powered agents, so they don't have superpowers, but they kind of assist on cases, as it were, or do things that maybe maybe smaller than the regular heroes go after. You know, and it kind of reminds me, and I was thinking about this because I just read this week's episode of Astro City. Mm-hmm. It's sort of Astro City-esque mm-hmm. in that it's not about the big right. people. Right. It's about the support people. Right. We may see cameos from some of the Avengers, maybe, but they've made it very clear it's like, that is in no way the focus of the show. Right. It is these just regular people who mm-hmm. who are also pitching in, essentially. Yes. Dads on Fox. This is, this is a stinker. This is oh. <laughs> Seth MacFarlane produces this sitcom where dads move in with their sons, which is a huge theme this year of parents moving in with their kids. Right. Um, it's already gotten a huge amount of flack about racism and sexism. I think you can get away with some of the things they do in the show in animation, like Family Guy, but mm-hmm. not in live action. I doubt this is going to last. The It's basically been lambasted by the critics. They said this is a terrible show. Mm-hmm. E- even if you take out the, the controversial elements, it's just not a very good show. And it's a shame because some of the people on it are people I really like, mm-hmm. but yeah. I don't like Seth MacFarlane. Yeah. Brooklyn Nine-Nine on Fox. This is from the producers of Parks and Rec. It's a vehicle for Andy Samberg, who just left SNL. So it's this cop comedy. And I thought, Barney Miller, you right. know? Yeah. <laughs> because how can you have a cop comedy? Right. You know, I, I don't understand But it's it. not. There apparently will be car chases and action. Andre Brower, who originally was on Homicide, is in it. So it's kind of like action comedy. So, I, it's going to be hard to, to balance that in a in a just a TV series. Is it an hour or? I, I'm not sure, frankly, if it's an hour or a half hour. It might okay. be a half. Which, especially if they go half hour, that's a lot to do in a half hour. Yeah, Bernie you know, Miller was like a you know set piece. And right. It was only in the station house. You sure. never saw anywhere else. Right. That was a multi camera show, single set. Right. Yes. The Originals on the CW. This is a spinoff of the Vampire Diaries. Really. I'm sure it will do very well because, you yeah. know, it's that audience. The sure. CW audience will like it, but I'm not going to watch it. Sure, it involves New Orleans and the French Quarter, but it's essentially probably the same show. You know, Im- Im- impossibly pretty models playing these mm-hmm. parts, yes. The Goldbergs on ABC. This is an 80s flashback sitcom. I think, frankly, they probably missed the wave of 80s nostalgia several years ago. I I can't even place this. I don't even remember anything about it. You may have seen a promo shot with five people in in sweaters. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's that's about all I all I know about it. But you know, it could take off. But yeah, I don't know. Trophy wife on ABC. This is about a May October marriage. It's a big time cast. You've got uh, Malin Ackerman. You've got Brad Bradley Whitford. You got Marcia Gay Harden. 
Um, not seeing a lot of marketing toward this show than some of the other shows. This is the first time I'd ever heard of it when I read it in Entertainment Weekly this week. Now, see, I have seen a little bit more about this one than I have about other ones. And, you know, I love Bradley Whitford, mm-hmm. so I'd really like it to work, but... I'm I'm having difficulty seeing it work, but you you've said it's been getting some good reviews. Right. So right. Um, I don't know. I'll watch it because I like Bradley Whitford. We'll see what happens. Exactly. Lucky Seven on ABC. It's all about winners of a lottery, which has been tried many times and has never worked as a show. Uh, the this is something that the the various studios keep coming back to every few years. Hey, what do I want to think about the lottery? Because and, I think everybody wants to win the lottery. Sure. So you got to imagine, you know, oh, this is what people want to see, you know, what would have be, been tried, but eh. yeah. Uh, plus, uh, Ravenswood over on ABC Family, which is a spinoff of Pretty Little Liars. You have New Girl on Fox. Jake and Jess, are they going to work out as a couple? Probably not. <laughs> if they do, you know, I mean, really that's gonna, pretty much the end of the this show, show so, concept because yeah. the whole show is based on the idea that there's all these misfits who can't get their lives to work out. Right, right. Uh, Supernatural on the CW going into season nine, nine believe yeah. it or not, uh-huh. <laughs> of that show. Uh, NCIS over on CBS. Well, that's uh, you know the perennial. It's still on show, but yeah. I mean it's still pretty good. And, and, and but, it's and it's it gets huge ratings. But they're going to go through another one of their female uh, detectives this year. I think that uh, Cote de Pablo. Yeah, I think that's yeah is leaving. Right. So. Right. And then you have the Mindy Project on Fox. Now we actually watched the pilot for this on Hulu. Not the pilot, the first the first the first the first episode of the, of the new season, season yeah. this week. Mm-hmm. Or the, uh, last night. And it's basically the same show. show? Yeah. You know. Yeah. They it changed less between the end of last season and the beginning of this season than it did when it went on hiatus dur- you know, that break right. during its first season. Oh absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All right. Wednesday. New network shows include Back in the Game, ABC a sitcom about Little League with James Caan. Now, was he the one that was in that Las Vegas yes. series? Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe a limited concept, but I don't think that's going to be an issue because I don't think it's going to be on for very long. You know, I don't if you see have that a, working. a sitcom about Little League, and the principal thing is that, isn't Little League just a season? Yeah, and, yeah. How do you, you make know, that? You know, what do you do during the off season right. of Right, how do you make show? that work? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Super Fun Night on ABC. Rebel Wilson is the producer and the star of it. Basically, three nerdy girls agree to go out one night a week. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's, I, it's from the same people think, who brought you bridesmaids to some extent. I, and... I wouldn't mind watching this, except that, you know, Rebel Wilson is talking about how, oh, the really funny joke is when she, you know, has her dress pop open. Yeah. Uh, that's not my style of humor. No, no. I could have my shirt pop open. Huh? Yeah, there no. you go. Everybody would turn it off. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> the Tomorrow People on the CW. So yet another CW superhero show. Mm-hmm. It's a remake of a 70s British sci-fi series. And it's about these teenagers with powers. Uh, Robbie uh, Amell, uh, the star, the cousin of the star of Arrow... <laughs> And who and this show is directly on after Arrow, mm-hmm. so it's going to be ML Night on the CW. Woohoo! <laughs> I think we'll probably try it out, and watch it. Oh, I, I suspect we will. Ironside on NBC. So this is a remake of the Raymond Burr '70s show about he was a detective and then he's shot in the line of duty and he's stuck in a wheelchair and now he continues, you know, uh, solving crimes. Now, um. I never understood how he could be, you know, it was like he got so much special support from, like, having three special people assigned to him, uh, you know, in the cop squad, on the old show. Yeah. I can understand on, you know, now with, you know, ADA, how he would stay on the force. But, sure. Then, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now, you're saying you may not watch this. Yeah, I don't know. I, I would say watch the reruns on MeTV instead. I give it a try because i always liked blair underwood on la law yeah but we'll see now an interesting uh point uh, i'd I'd actually read about the original series Mm -hmm. was that raymond burr apparently because he's sitting in the chair as his main role and he's generally looking up at people Mm -hmm. when he's when he's in scenes he apparently had like vision problems the rest of his life because he was 
looking into the lights all the time. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's awful. All right. Now, I mentioned Arrow. Uh, so now we're in the post-earthquake that was manufactured by the secret device. And so now we'll see what happens to the city after that. Uh, we know that the Flash character is going to be introduced later in the season. Yeah, we didn't think much of that casting. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. And then Modern Family on ABC... The big storyline, and everyone's been kind of guessing, will Mitch and Cam get married? So, and, and the impression I'm getting is, yeah, it sounds like that's oh, going to be on. the major plot line can of the this, season. Can the, these showrunners turn down the chance for a wacky wedding? Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> it will be a very wacky wedding right. episode. Sure. Thursday just night. Think, I'm, just, oh. I, I'm sorry, because yep. it just reminds me. Just think about the wedding that they would have, because it would be all their... their Wacky gay friends yes. introduced so yes. far, you know. Oh yeah. Um, I just can't imagine. Yeah. <laughs> I just think it's going to be hilarious. Oh sure. Oh they absolutely. Can't, they can't not do that. Right. Sure. Okay. Sorry. Right. No, I'm sorry. I'm just picturing yeah. Nathan Lane. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Know. <laughs> well, we're still not done with the big fall TV preview, so we'll finish up in our next episode. Meantime, you can check out our audio podcast, "How I Got My Wife to Read Comics," on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching.